Only with wisdom can we face everything smilingly. By the Venerable Renzo. However, if you don't practice meditation regularly and haven't cultivated wisdom and mindfulness consistently, these states might evoke your negative emotions. For example, when you see the moonlight, you might ponder, Changi's up there. Back then, due to peeking at Changi's, Marshall Canopy got punished and became Pixie. You might be caught in this kind of daydreaming. Some people, upon seeing the moonlight, might start thinking about someone thousands of miles away and might even write something like the same moon in a thousand miles. Worldly emotions come into play. Therefore, these things may not necessarily inspire your wisdom. They might trigger your negative or worldly thoughts. If you have wisdom and mindfulness, these circumstances can ignite your wisdom and mindfulness. Sometimes, sitting there all the time may not be good, as you might become drowsy or start to daydream. You can take a walk, but your mind should abide in meditation. That's fine. Sit by a lake or in a garden, and, breathing quietly, let your mind fall silent as the moon comes up majestically and slowly in the cloudless night. When you see the moon, for example, when the bright moon is in the sky, different times may evoke different feelings. If you, as a meditator, see the full moon in the sky, you might think, the universe is so vast, the moon is like my mind, empty yet luminous. Everything can be used as an invitation to meditation. A smile, a face in the subway, the sight of a small flower growing in the crack of a cement pavement, a fall of rich cloth in a shop window, the way the sun lights up flower pots on a windowsill. Be alert for any sign of beauty or grace. Offer up every joy. Be awake at all moments to the news that is always arriving out of nature. This needs wisdom. A wise person can face everything smilingly and gracefully, as the mind is all-encompassing and boundless in nature. Our true mind is like the sky. Slowly, you will become a master of your own bliss, a chemist of your own joy, with all sorts of remedies always at hand to elevate, cheer, illuminate and inspire your every breath and movement. <laughs>